Uh, hello. Uh, I was waiting for these questions. Uh, welcome back to the channel for the new subscribers. Uh, this is the way to go. The world of knowledge here. And I'll be lecturing you on the topics of module 3. So this is a question paper that was done uh, this year, July 2023. Series. I was just waiting to access those papers. Uh, they are found in the library and sometimes it's difficult to access them. But for now, I've gotten it. Uh, let's go ahead and we we'll look at uh, most of these questions. So here is a question that was done. Uh, and uh, areas and uh, volumes. Um, I want us to get a look at that question. So that is question 7a. And we can get direct to the question. After seeking out a leveling instrument at one point, staff readings taken at various changes along a cross section of a river are as shown in table 6. So there we have table 6 mm, found there. So under the table we have two rows. Uh, we have the change in meters and the staff readings in meters. Uh, we have a varying chain. So that is from 0 to 12, 2, 30, 2, 45, 2, 56, 2, 65, 2, 75, 2, 87, and the last 2, 100. So those are varying distance. Remember that. Uh, after looking at this, so those are staff readings produced. Uh, these seems like a question under leveling uh, the first tier topic they have decided because you have that knowledge you can tackle this question anyway uh, by use of a sketch determine the cross-sectional area of the riverbed between the level of the first and the last staff point a uh, total of eight marks yeah so we can go direct to the solutions uh, we have been told by the use of a sketch so i've illustrated their uh, terrain where the levels were taken so we were told to use a sketch because that is what is going to uh, tell us where our areas will be gotten from I was discussing earlier under this you can use any method but I saw best for you to draw after drawing you'll have a concept of one or two things uh, where they need you to calculate the area from and then let's go directly to the first so the differences in the levels those are the heights that my offsets will be gotten from on the first reading that is 1.5 uh, then we had a second reading of 3.16 uh, the difference in elevation between those two points so 1.5 is at a higher place one 3.16 is a at a lower place so the difference between those two will give me the height of the terrain from the first point to the second point i go directly and subtract so the difference in those two levels will be 1.66 then we move to the second point so the difference between the second point and the third point uh, by the look of things uh, we still are uh, descending so 1.3.16 and 3.55 so that 3.15 that shows us we are moving at a lower level yeah so the difference between those two will uh, will have there that is 0 0.39 then the same is done on the third point and the fourth point 
so the difference between those two also we are descending the difference between those two points will give us 0 0.7 and then after moving from that point we go ahead by the looks of our data so that is 4.25 uh, and our next point is 4.35 the differences between those two points will give me the elevation of that land and that elevation becomes 0 0.1 after that our terrain starts to rise so we move from that point that is 4.35 uh, uh, to higher ground that is 3.60 are uh, the differences between those two uh, points will give me the elevation of the land and remembering uh, i don't know if this concept will will be seen but here we are moving towards the right so the elevation between the lowest part and the highest part that is the distance so our offset will fall under the uh, stuff where 3.630 was held so that's where our offset will fall in uh, if you are doing that you will see there then our next point the elevation between that uh, point three point uh, six zero uh, that is three point six three zero uh, and the three point seven Five. so the difference in those two will give me the elevation of our land so the differences between those two points that will be 0 0.12 then we move on to our second last point the difference in elevation between 3.75 and 2.7 uh, 0 2 that will give me 1.03 then we move on to the last elevation there uh, so that is the difference between 2.72 and 1.5 uh, that will give me 1.22 the difference in elevation so all those differences in elevation will be my offsets uh, in the terrain provided there at uh, the land that is given to me uh, we have been asked to use the trapezoidal rule and by remembering uh, on our changes our intervals for not equal I will go ahead and use the uh, the big the first part of the derivation of the formula where we have offset 1 plus offset 2 a mean of those two multiplied by the interval that is the or the land yeah or you can say you can yeah you can say anything as long as it's the correct answer so I'll come again away uh, my offsets uh, I had found them earlier I'll use them uh, to get uh, the different elevation on which my areas will be gotten from the final equations uh, the first area that we calculate we have the differences between the two offsets that is 1.66 plus 0.39 uh, divided by 2 multiplied by 12 uh, there we get our answers 12.3 our second area that is 0 0.39 plus 0 0.7 divided by 2 multiplied by 18 uh, we get there 9.81 our third area that is 0 0.7 plus 0 0.1 over 2 multiplied by 15 we get there a 6 our fourth area that is 0 0.01 plus 0 0.72 divided by 2 multiplied by 20 and my 20 is the distance uh, between the in intervals there so where we have 11 plus 9 we get a 20 
and my final answer becomes uh, 8.2 so you need to check that uh, how i did that fourth part so the fourth area you need to check that and then the fifth area that is 0 0.72 plus 0 0.12 divided by 2 by 10 i will get 4.2 and then on our sixth uh, area that is 0 0.12 plus 1.03 divided by 2 multiplied by 12 we get 6.9 on our last area that is 1.03 plus 1.22 uh, Divide by 2 multiplied by 13 we get 14.625 uh, we go ahead and we add all our areas the total areas there that we had gotten the seven total areas and our total answer becomes 62.05 meters uh, square yeah that that is the simplest uh, we can do the simplest possible way on which you can tackle that question i uh, thank you for uh, listening and that will be all